Hi guys, Dan Jerseth here. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about the six first things you must do if you're moving to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. A little background on myself. I'm actually not originally from the Eau Claire area. I moved here in college and I decided to never leave. I've actually just fell in love with the area, the job opportunities, the amount of outdoor activities to do around here. So if you're thinking about moving to this area, I have a bunch of videos on this channel that actually talks about my favorite things and my least favorite things. And also, in case you haven't watched any of our other episodes, reminder, I am a real estate agent. So if you are thinking about moving to this area, you need to give me a phone call, text me, shoot me an email, send me a carrier pigeon, or send me smoke signals, however you have to get a hold of me. Uh, comment on this video down here, ask me some questions, engage with me in any way you want to. Uh, we'll respond pretty quickly. We're watching for um, people reaching out 24 seven. And we work with hundreds of people who are actually moving out of the area to, uh, moving out of their area to Eau Claire, and we absolutely love working with new buyers in this area. Okay, so let's dive in, and I'm gonna be talking about the first six steps you must take if you're thinking about moving to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And step number one, shouldn't be a surprise, I've already said it, reach out to me. And the reason why you must reach out to somebody is I, you're probably doing a lot of research on Google. You're probably researching videos on YouTube. That's how you came across this video. You're trying to really understand the ins and out of what Eau Claire has to offer. What somebody, somebody like myself with the boots on the ground, knowing this area, I've lived here for a decade now. I really understand this area. So when somebody comes to me and has a question or has a certain lifestyle, I'm really easily able to point you in the right direction. As a real estate agent, personally, it's super important for me to learn who my clients are as well. So building that personal relationship early on. If you are thinking about buying a house here that might be a 12 months out from now, and you're thinking about this area, maybe you're not necessarily thinking about buying a house, but you're considering it, you need to reach out as soon as possible. And I, up to 12 months in advance. We have people that call us that are thinking about moving here in two years from now that we're already having conversations with them. We're already trying to figure out what specific neighborhood is gonna be the best fit for their lifestyle and getting them hooked up with a lender that's also local to, to our area. The best way for us to really have a better relationship is by setting up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call and that way we can actually get to know each other a other little bit more. It's a little bit more personalized and I feel like the conversations just go a lot better rather than just being a voice on the other side of a phone. So reach out to us, we'll set up a Zoom call, get to understand your wants, your needs, your desires, your lifestyle, your timeline, all these super important things so that we can be sure to be helping you as best we can as a, your real estate team. Okay, now step number two, actually takes place during that Zoom call that I just mentioned. So during that Zoom call, we really figure out your criteria. We really do a deep dive into your lifestyle, figure out what's important to you. For example, if you have dogs and a fence in backyard is super important to you, okay, we need to know that. We need to know that you need a back, big backyard for your kids and your dogs and everything else you wanna do. Uh, if a big backyard is not super important to you, well, then we're gonna be looking at a different style house. If your price range is under 300,000 versus under a million dollars, well, that's a whole different conversation. So it's super important for us to be able to know. Eau Claire is pretty wide. There's a lot of small towns in the area. Outside of town, There's there you can buy country land. You could buy a house with some acreage on it. Um, there's different, even the, the different sides of Eau Claire have different things to offer. For example, the south side of Eau Claire is gonna be closer to the mall, closer to the movie theater, closer to the grocery stores, whereas the north side, prices are a little bit lower, but you're gonna be a little bit further from things. It's still a 10 minute drive, but it does make a difference in some people's opinions. Step number three is going to be building out your own personalized home search. So if you've ever been searching for a home on realtor.com or Zillow or Trulia, you're probably a little bit frustrated because if you ever reached out for a property that you saw on one of those websites, oftentimes it's already sold and it's not very apparent based on the website that it's been sold. So why do they have it on the website? Well, they want you to click on there so it gets funneled to one of their agents that they're selling that information to. So what, you, what we do, we actually set up a custom property search for you so you'll never have to dig through those hundreds of properties that have already sold that are just sitting there as bait for you to click on. Uh, really makes the home buying process simpler for you. For example, if you need nothing less than a two, three bedroom house, 
Well, you won't see two bedroom houses. You're only gonna see three plus bedroom houses. If you don't wanna see anything over the price of $370,000, okay, we're gonna cut it off. We're gonna show every property that's three bedrooms or more that's under $370,000. So that's just an example of the very niche criteria we can find for you. And we can just build your search platform out that way. So you're only looking at the very select houses that are going to be a good fit for you. What that does for you it saves a lot of frustration and a lot of time. It takes a lot of headache out of having to sift through hundreds and hundreds of properties. Step number four, which is gonna be my favorite, is actually setting up a tour date. You wanna see where you're gonna be moving to. Come let us show you around town. We love, we've been here for many years and um, I've had the option of moving out of the area and I've really just loved it here. And I'm, I wanna show you what it is exactly the restaurants, the parks, the dog parks, the uh, just the culture, the downtown, the reasons why I love this area the most. And I wanna show people, I wanna show people like yourself who are thinking about moving to this area, what really makes this area uh, just light up for me. We really want you to get in the community you f so you can feel the culture. You wanna, we want you to feel the area and really just dive in and get to know us, get to, we, so we can get to know you and for you to get to know the community and also probably look at some houses. The best way to get, really get to know Eau Claire is just by coming here and checking it out, driving the different neighborhoods, checking out the different houses in these different areas. We've even gone out for dinner, got beers with clients who are moving from out of state to this area, just so we can get to know them, so we can explain the area a little bit more to them. And I, I know it's a big nerve wracking experience moving from out of state to somewhere. Um, it, we want it to be a long-term relationship rather than a, you know, oh, help you buy a house and send you on your way. Well, that's step number five is going to be setting up your lending. The most fun topic on earth, right? Talking to a lender. Well, it's important. It is really important step and it should not be skipped. When you are going to buy a house, it's extremely crucial that you go to a lender that is recommended to you. I can't tell you how many stories that we have where somebody just clicked a link online. I think we have at least one client a month who doesn't listen to us when it comes to what lenders what we recommend or who we prefer to work with. And we're fine with that. You can work with whoever you want to. If you've worked with a lender that you just have a good relationship or a family member, we don't have any problem with that. We just really don't recommend working with somebody that you don't have, you, they weren't referred to you by somebody uh, because there are a lot of new lenders out there. And the lenders that we work with personally that have been in the business for 25 plus years, they've seen every situation, every situation. And it makes a huge difference when you're working with somebody who can problem solve. Sometimes it gets tricky if you're switching jobs and that's what they're here for. They're here to solve your problems. They're not working against you. They're working for you. They want to lend you money. Number six is going to be guiding you through the home buying process. Now, that's what we do. We're a real estate team. We understand that this is probably the biggest, most important, life-impacting financial decision of your entire life. And we happen to work with people that are making those decisions every single day and we love it. The reason why we like it so much is we're, we're a really big part of your life and at the end of the day, when we help you get through all the, the crazy chaos of buying a house, it really is gratifying. Most of our clients will invite us to their weddings. They'll invite us to their kids' uh, birthday parties because we built that personal relationship with people. And at the end of the day, Sometimes home buying can be a little complicated and that's what we're here for. We're really here to take the bulk of the unknowns out of the equation so that you can focus on moving, especially if you're moving across state lines or across the country. It, there's a lot of logistics that go into, to, uh, into that moving process. And you can allow us to handle the more complex situations. For example, if there's repairs that are needed, well, you don't know who a good contractor is to reach out to. You don't have connections to an electrician in the Eau Claire area. And that's what we provide. We really provide that, uh, that layer of, of that safety net to make sure that everything is taken care of on the home front of buying. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the six steps of moving to Eau Claire. 
we really enjoy working with people moving to this area. So if you are looking to move to Eau Claire and buy a house in the area, please reach out to us in any fashion you have to. Also reminder, we put these videos out every Monday at noon consistently. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Also feel free to comment. I respond to everybody who comments on these videos and I've already connected with a half a dozen people just in the few past week here that are moving to Eau Claire area, ask me questions about jobs, locations, uh, areas to move to. So feel free to drop a comment. Again, we love working with people like yourself that are moving out of state to this area. It's a fun process. It's great to hear your experiences and just be part of your life for that moving process. So feel free to reach out to us.